I think of all the statements that people can be afraid of, and I'm talking about some people will say, well, I'm just looking at this situation and it's impossible and I'm afraid it can't ever change. Well, the Lord says, I can make all things possible. Mm -hmm. And we claim the scripture, Luke 18, 27, what is impossible with man is possible with God. If you say, well, I'm worried I just won't be wise enough. The Lord says, I'll give you wisdom. Mm -hmm. Uh, if Praise any God. of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. That's James 1, verse 5. If you say, I feel such anxiety over the cares of the world. Some people globalize things. And uh, instead, the Lord says, cast all your cares on me. And the Bible says in Psalm 55, verse 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain mm -hmm. you. These are all scripturally based. Uh, if you say, well, I feel overwhelmed with fear, the Lord will give you strength when you're afraid. That's the truth. And I love this scripture in Isaiah 41, 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Mm -hmm. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So what we do is look at what are we saying yeah. mentally? And then as a result, if we let that worry repeat itself over and over, that can become anxiety. Uh, there are those who say, well, I'm, I'm, I, just, I, I just can't forgive myself. And they keep focusing on that. Well, the Lord says, I can forgive you. Um, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteous. And that's John, you know, 1 John 1, 9. Yes. And so it, it matters what we are thinking Yes, that would be worry. But again, if we repeat over and over, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one thing that is my favorite scripture. It's nobody else's. <laughs> I've never heard anybody else say that's my favorite scripture. But I, um, I, I actually, uh, I, there were times when I felt we could be abandoned as a family. Mm -hmm. uh, or, but I, I was determined I will take care of my mom my two sisters somebody they will they'll take care of my two sisters but i felt responsible for taking care of my mom i know i was just a teenager but uh I, you know i i thought uh i am afraid you know uh, my loved one will be lost that they'll that person may leave me a lot of people are afraid of a of a husband leaving or a wife leaving but See, but the Lord says, once you've come to me, I will never leave you. And so my favorite scripture of all, which gave me great comfort, was Deuteronomy 31.8. And I doubt you've heard anybody say, oh, my scripture is <laughs> My life verse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is mine. Awesome. It's the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will... And that's important. Uh, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. But mm -hmm. I suggest when people need this scripture, even though they've not heard of it before, personalize it. The Lord himself goes before me mm -hmm. and will be with me. He will never leave me nor forsake me. I will not be afraid. I will not be discouraged. That's Deuteronomy 31 Eight. So write it down right now if you need to write it down. If that's something that touches your heart, then you can take that, and that can literally be an antidote for your anxiety. 